Call to soul, call to soul. I will always remember you, Willie Hawkins. Call to soul, call to soul. I will always remember you, Mr. Moore. Yeah, man, I remember it as if it was yesterday. Uh, almost 13 years ago when I had the opportunity to be invited to Black Rose's Corner to talk and chat with the legendary uh, Jerry Levy aka Bogle and uh, Mr. Moore was very busy taking care of some business but he still took time out from his busy task to stop by to say a few words you know and we captured the legend it was his last interview because he was shot and killed seven days later. Welcome to the party. Welcome to Rising Achiever. This is Business Life Entrepreneur, Mr. Willie Agard in the house. Hey. 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 Willie, Willie, Willie. How you feel? How you feel? How you feel about the big time? Keep it up. Well, you know, anything with a friend do. A big thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anything to pay by the Cheers, sir. I'm gonna tell them the, the last two down to pop it and exhibit up on the roof, my boss. Never knew all that. Call to soul. Call to soul. I will always remember you, Mr. Moore. Oh, when the saints goes marching in. Oh, when the saints. Goes march chaining. I want to be among the number. On when the saints goes march chaining. Yeah, man, I had the opportunity to sit back and have a chit chat with the legendary Bogle, Jerry Levy, as he's known, but worldwide, world acclaimed dancer, Bogle. It was a wonderful experience for me, you know, to to talk with a legend, a man that has been honored by so many people. And so for me to look back at those days, you know, I'm saying thank you for sharing your moment with me, Mr. Bogle. Thank you for giving me the time of day because you was extremely busy. But you still find out time out to chat with Big Stone and chat with the crew. So your families and your friends and your kids and whoever that miss you so much, we just want to see we want to take time out and share this little piece of footage that I have with the legend Gerald Levy, aka Punk. I'm here on the famous Black Roses Corner in the Roots Pub with Gerald Levy, world acclaimed, world renowned dancer, famously known by every single person on the face of this earth as Bogle. Bogle, welcome to Rising Achievers, my brother. How you doing? Straight, straight. Well, as you know, Bogle, you are an inspiration to a whole lot of people, not just in Jamaica, but all over the world, my brother. Tell Rising Achievers how you really get started on such a phenomenal journey. And trust me, you not know, believe me. <laughs> it's it of me continue how oh, I start, I'm gonna reach nowhere. <laughs> I tell you. It's enemies continue. Where I start, or the reason now, where because. <coughs> Sorry. When me a youth and me a dance, at this come used to dance. From ring ding to weird sat. In time there. A moonwalk me a do. I'm puppet, break dance and all them things there. Say what's no. That means at the end of the day, me couldn't be to America. Go do what them a do. Cause them would have flap all bogey it too. Cause me create what them a do. You see me? <laughs> so it's like, <coughs> doing for them thing and doing for them thing now. I still have checks. Jeremy Bogle, you see yeah. me? Come here, all of your achievements, they're America. But at the end of the day, me couldn't go to America, but where them are just still. You see me? Because they would have flop all me. You see me? And me couldn't take a flop. So it's like, me just going to my lab. You see me? And just make a solution. So what you're trying to say then, you used to dance everything for it. Everything from the moonwalk to the everything, rock set, everything to that. Yes. 
Cheer. Cheer. Trust me, we are done the thing is concerned, man. I don't want all I want to feel like that. We are dancing is concerned. Bogo does. Take dancing like that. Bogo never know dance. Bogo won't even dance. Because I probably would have stopped dancing a long time. You see me? But you mean, you mean no. Dance. I'm can't dance. What does dance? Because it's a dancing and just Bogo. Because what's this? Let me tell you something now. We used to play all major league and national league for all of the game. We used to play all football team. At the end of the day, it's either or either. But it's like me say, yeah, yeah, I'm a It's not a story, yes, sir. I want to tell you something, too. When I left high school, I am in barracks. I go for the tunnel, police, and they go back. If you had a load, I want to let you. Because when I was a youth, I go, it's either teacher, nurse, doctor, police, fireman, or somebody. Remember me telling you, it's like Father God said, Bogle is a youth. Yes, sir. Let's go to the other thing. I'm going to go to the other And I say, you know, I go straight. So did you did you start making money right away after dancing? Or you just do it for the elevator? Listen, listen to me, listen to me, and believe me. Then it's a dancing thing. When me just start dancing and them weird and do all boga dance and them things, I'm not expecting me to get money because it, there is not a budget or there is not a system that set up where you get paid for dance. If you get paid right now, boga me, you get paid right now for dance. Right now. Because no budget and nothing did it set for a dancer. Do you know that? Of course. Of course. Good. So at the end of the day, if you get paid right now, I told me I get paid. Because at the end of the day, me not dancing free. It must have been a tremendous effort, though, Bogo, to see that a population of 2.5 million people back then in the days was doing funky moonwalk and all that. And for you to go in your lab, as you put it, and come out with your own original Jamaican style dancing to reggae music. That is a great achievement. Because at the end of the day, Trenton come from. Bob Mal come from Trenton. And he did it. He did it. So at the end of the day, everything lies here. You see what I'm saying? Because if you are checking. See? Right now. Me a lot of dance still. People have a lot of work done. No dance yet. Do it that time. I saw me a lot of dance right now. Trust me. You want to tell us which dance was your first dance that you became popularly known for? Uh, the Boga dance. Because listen, it's a friend thing now. It's a family thing. I'm just going right now, you know. Can a friend kill a friend out? Yeah, man. From Yo, listen, this man. Listen, this man. Jamaicans, we know this, man. We take things from one level to another level, man. Yeah? Yesterday was friend to this bloody hell family. That you you see as an inspiration to you, how you feel knowing that he's world known by everybody, not just in Jamaica, 2.5 million, but the entire world, people in London, America, Australia, France, Italy. How you feel about that? And what's your projection on that? Well, you see, my opinion, it's a bogle himself. I mean, a separate dimension, you see me? Because it's a bogle and my idol. You see me? He's a, he's a professional dancer. Bogle is a creator. So you see anything Bogle invents, we try to add on. So ice come in. Okay. Because you see ice, the ice are one ice when them naga can melt. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Always a freeze. Yeah, yeah. I see Bogle, remember me tell you man. Bogle is love. Ooh, to my father and Yeah, man, I had the opportunity of meeting Ice, the dancer that was always next to Bogle. It was a wonderful experience for me talking with Ice because I could see the love that Ice had for Bogle. And um, when I looked at Ice and I said, Ice, how do you feel to be associated with this legend? And Ice just answered that, you know, Bogle is love. And when I say Bogle, Bogle is just love. And I know personally, Ice really and truly love Bogo. So Ice, wherever you are, my brother, it was an honor for me to have met you. It was an honor for me to have sat down and talked with you. And it was also an honor for me to dance with you. So, Mr. Ice, may your soul eternally rest in peace. And we'll meet again on the sweet by and by. 
So to all you fans out there, I just want to share this little piece of footage with you uh, of Ice talking about his legend, Ogro. Salam, my brother. Ogro and Ice. Ogro the road, Ice at the stem, and you don't know where I got to mad them, you see me? <laughs> anyway, Ice, welcome to Rising the Table, my brother. Yeah, what's up? No. How are you feeling knowing the fact that somebody that you you see as an inspiration to you, how you feel knowing that he's world known by everybody, not just in Jamaica, 2.5 million, but the entire world, people in London, America, Australia, France, Italy. How you feel about that? And what's your projection on that? Well, you see, my opinion, it's a bogle himself. I mean, a separate dimension, you see me? Because it's a bogle and my idol. You see me... He's a, he's a professional dancer, Bogle is a creator. So you say anything Bogle invents, we try to add on. So ice come in. Okay. Cause you see ice, the ice are one ice when them naga can melt. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Always a freeze. Yeah. Cause you see Bogle, remember me tell you man, Bogle is love. Cause you see Bogle dance bring love to get, bring pe people together. Love and unity. Cause around the sun, if you catch it, no war go on. Just play a little music. And see the love where it carry. Just drive a body together. Yeah. Everybody do the same dance. Yeah. So, you see the new dancer when you zip it and pop the color. Pop it out. Then for no such screech, you get lost a long time. Dance! Hey! What am I zipping up, you know? Yeah. 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 Yeah.